Hello YouTube, TJ Disney Life here. Today I have another knife to unbox for you. And this one I bought it from the Arms Machine Company Facebook group. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. I'm using my Arms Machine Company Rosewell to unbox this. Oh, let's cut this open. Okay. Set the box aside. Here is the knife box. Oz Machine Company proudly made in the USA. Let's see what's inside. Okay, looks like we got another uh, rose belt. See the COA here. Model name rose belt, knife number 3173. And date of birth is April 3rd, uh, 2024. Uh, the knife still is 63 to 64 HRC magnet cut. And the mailing is radio mailing, RTI construction. Cool. We got a cool sticker as well. Set this aside. And here is the knife. Take a good look at the radio mailing. Gorgeous mailing. I really like their uh, radio mailing. Uh, looks way cool. And this one has that uh, third blasted blade and also hardware. So pivot screw, body screw, pocket clip, and the back spacer. Everything is they're blasted. Looks super clean. Let's check out the action. Flaking action is super snappy. It has that double D10 ball, which makes it so smooth. Both opening and closing. Check out the centering, that center as usual. Contoured pocket clip, feels really nice. And this dark washed kind of finish on the handle is super good for hiding uh, snails and scratches, uh, which makes this knife such a good user. And the ergos are amazing. You can choke up and have all four finger grab. And the cutting performance is great as well. Let's cut something, a uh, piece of paper here. You can see it cuts like a dream. So slicey. And this full fly grind, super good drop point blade. It's just such a slicer. Let's first do some comparison. And as you can see, this is my Silver Surfer, the golf putter mailing pattern. And this one is a radio. Take a closer look at these two. And this one is the older model, which has that flat uh, pocket clip. And this one is contoured a little bit. Cool. And when open, side by side. This one has stone washed blade, as you can see. And this one is zero blasted blade. Super good for hiding 
like fingerprints. Uh, yeah. And let's do some size comparison between this Josie and the Spyderco Para 3. As you can see, they're quite similar in length. The Para 3 is just a touch longer than the Rosie. How about the PM2? As you can see, the PM2 is quite longer than the Rosie. And how about compare it to the SPK Lamina? As you can see, the Lamina is just a little bit longer than the Rosie. How about compare it to the Grinsmo Rask? Yeah, the Rask is longer than the Rosie as well. Cool. Uh, so this knife is not a big knife, uh, but for small or medium hands, uh, I think this one is perfect. And if you have really large hands, I think you should check out the XL. I have an unboxing video for the Rosie XL. You can check out that. But this one, I think, is for small and medium hands. And it's perfect. Okay, next let's check out the weight on this knife. See how much this weights. 2.970 ounce. Pretty light. Check out the Silver Surfer one. 2.970 so they are exactly the same weight how about the lamila this one with 3.693 ounce definitely heavier than the rosie how about check out the green small rusk this one is 3.143 ounce so still heavier than the Rosie. Okay, in my opinion, this Rosie in this exact configuration is just perfect for a user. You have this dark stone washed handle which can hide uh, snails and scratches. And you also have this zero blasted blade which can hide uh, fingerprints so well. Okay, that's it. So this is my unboxing and first impression on this gorgeous looking Rosie. Let me know what do you think in the comment section. And I hope to see you in my next video. Take care.